What's going on guys? It's Android Critics from AndroidCritics.com and in this video I'll be showing you my top 20 best Android apps. Uh, so in this video I'll be going from number 20 all the way up to number 1 and all the apps that I list in this video will be uh, in the description down below and there will be a link to AndroidCritics.com to the specific blog post. At number 20 is Smart Voice Recorder. Now once you go into Smart Voice Recorder, you can see that the app has a very simple layout. Uh, but the main purpose of this app is just to record your voice and give a different user interface than the stock one. So if I go ahead and start recording, you can see that it's recording and as I speak, uh, you can see the bars will go up and down depending on the tone of my voice and depending on how loud that I'm speaking. And if I go quiet, you can see that you can't see anything. Uh, and it also does say the time on the record button as well. Also, and I also do have the options of finish, pause, and cancel. So as you can see, I paused it right there and I can resume it and finish just like so. So now I can easily name it whatever I want so I'll just go ahead and press OK, and I could just play it back. So that is Smart Voice Recorder coming in at number 20. The next app in this video is Movebo. Now that is the live wallpaper that you can see in the background uh, that is moving around and doing very different shapes, uh, and it doesn't stay consistent. And that's why I really do like this live wallpaper. The next app in this video is the Jot Notes widget. Now once you go into Jot, you will see that it's a widget. So what you'll do to set it up is simply uh, go to your home screen. And then go to the widgets. And once I set up Jot, you can see what it allows me to do is just uh, type quick notes from my is type quick notes from my home screen. Hence the name Jot. Uh, so once I have Jot, so I could just easily write anything. Say for example, this is. a test and then all I have to do to finish is just press jot and then as you can see it's on my home screen now this is a very simple app although at times I do find it very useful and it's mostly for those quick ideas that you have and you don't want to forget that idea just simply jot it down on your Android device and you're good to go with jot The next app in this video is Dolphin Browser. Now once you go into Dolphin Browser, now what I really like about Dolphin Browser is it's tab browsing. Uh, so you can easily add a lot of tabs. And there's also a voice search feature. Wikipedia.com 
So as you can see, I said wikipedia.com, and it took me straight to wikipedia.com, just like that. And uh, Dolphin Browser is by far the best browser out there, and it's definitely a must-have, because it has uh, some features that Google Chrome doesn't include, uh, Firefox doesn't include, and even the stock browser doesn't include. Uh, and especially if you have a phablet device like I do, the Galaxy Note 2, it works perfectly because of the screen real estate and also because uh, how fluid everything is and, and how fast it is running uh, on this particular Android device. So say for example I go to none other than AndroidCritics.com You can see that it loads up very fast and also the pinch to zoom feature is, is working flawlessly. And it's also very fast at that. Uh, and the overall web browser is very fluid, it's very fast, and it's everything that you want in a on your mobile device. The next video tweak in this video is Lane Splitter. Now Lane Splitter is just a very simple game yet it's very fun to play. Now Lane Splitter just uses the accelerometer on your Android device. And what you're trying to do is go as close to the cars as possible. And if you hit a car like that, there's your final score. And you can easily play again like that. So let's see how far I go. You can see the pause button right there, and also your score right there as well. Now Lane Splitter is just a very simple game, yet it's very addicting at the same time. So that's Lane Splitter coming in at number 16. The next Android app. The next Android app. So overall, once you open up this app, you can see that the UI is very nice. It has a very nice uh, overall graphic uh, UI to look at. You can see it shows a little animation uh, right beside the temperature. And for example, it says passing clouds uh, at the top. And also you can see the forecast down at the bottom like so, uh, which is in a very nice format and it's easy to look at and easy to read. Uh, also gives you your current location and much more. Uh, and overall, this is one of my favorite weather apps. I've been trying a variety of weather apps and out of all the weather apps that I have chosen, this one is by far the best weather app. And this is Eye in the Sky Weather. Now, as you can see right there, that's the weather currently. You can also have a 15-day forecast if you scroll to the right. And you can easily scroll down to see which particular day and the current date as well. And you can see the next 48 hours. Next app in this video is Package Buddy. Now, Package Buddy is the type of app that you want to have on your Android device. If you do a lot of online shopping uh, and get lots of packages shipped to you, this will easily incorporate all of the packages that are being shipped to you in one seamless and very simple app at that. So once you open up Package Buddy, now once you open up Package Buddy and you enter the tracking number and the carrier uh, for your package, what you can do is simply click on it 
and once you click on it you can see the package details just like so and you can see the package map uh, so the whole route your package takes to get to your house and overall that's package buddy it's much more comprehensive when you have the actual tracking number and overall I've tried many uh, Android apps for uh, tracking my uh, and this app is by far number one the next app in this video is bleacher report once you go into Bleacher Report, you can see that you have a slideshow and then, and then you can have your favorite teams and your favorite sports. So say for example I go into NBA News and as you can see right here I can see all the sports news for the NBA along with certain tweets and all the latest news I can catch up on. And say if I want to look at my favorite NFL team, uh, so say for example the San Francisco 49ers, I can look at uh, all the latest news like so and one of the best things about Bleacher Report is the overall user interface. It makes me want to use the app just by looking at it. and it's not box scores or just showing the stats and the standings of the t It's much more pleasing to use. Uh, now Bleacher Report does include many settings and everything but overall that's the apps. Now also if I go into NHL News I can easily pull to refresh and once I go into any post, so say for example this one, you can see that Bleacher Report doesn't include multimedia, so some pictures, along with a YouTube video, so I can easily just watch it straight from the app. And as you can see, I'm watching uh, the NHL news just like so. Now this app is also very stable and that's what I really like about it and it's very fast to boot. So overall that's Bleacher Report. The next app in this video is Locker Pro. So once I go to my lock screen, you can see that I have notifications on my lock screen. Now this is by far one of my favorite apps in this video. Now one feature that Android does not have currently is having notifications on your lock screen. Sure you can drag down your taskbar and look at it on your lock screen but you don't have it stocked like iOS does. Uh, but now Locker Pro aims to fix that and it does uh, with this app. So you can see I can see all my email on my lock screen and if I want to go into the email simply swipe to the right. And I'm in the email just like so. Also if I want to dismiss it I can just simply swipe to the left and it's gone like so. Uh, so that's just what Locker Pro allows you to do. It's a very simple app but it is a must needed feature and one of my favorite apps uh, to have and it's very useful and instead of just going straight into my Gmail app I could just take a quick glance at my lock screen uh, and it uh, is a nice feature to have and once you have this feature, uh, you won't realize what you have been missing uh, without Locker Pro. The next app in this video is Thumb Keyboard Pro. Now Thumb Keyboard Pro is a keyboard, although it's the best one that I have ever used. So say for example I bring up the keyboard, you can see it right here. Now you have many keyboards to choose from. I chose a 6 inch tablet keyboard uh, so you can see it's a little weird but you have many keyboards to choose from depending on your Android device and depending on the keyboard that you want. So this is Thumb Keyboard Pro. So you can see I have the numbers here and the keyboard is split uh, in half. Uh, so I can so I have one half here and one half here. Now it does have haptic feedback and everything. Uh, and if I uh, even type, and if I go into the Thumb Keyboard Pro app, you can see it shows how to activate the keyboard and everything. And overall, that's Thumb Keyboard Pro. It's a very premium app and it comes at a premium price, although you get what you pay for with Thumb Keyboard Pro.
The next app in this video is TV Portal, coming in at number 10. Now once you go into TV Portal, what TV Portal allows you to do is watch any TV show and any movie all within one app. So say if I want to go ahead and browse, and here are the TV shows that you can choose from. And that's only a quarter of the shows and it's still scrolling. Uh, so as you can see, there's a lot of TV shows to choose from. So let's say I choose Buck Wild. And then season one. And any episode. And I can easily choose uh, any of these streaming sites. It doesn't matter which one you choose. And you're also going to want to download MX Player since it goes hand in hand uh, with TV Portal. So overall, that's a TV portal app, and you can also watch many movies as well. The next app in this video is SF Launcher. Now once you go into SF Launcher, you can see SF Launcher is inspired by Google Now. It has that kind of a Google Now uh, layout and that's why I really do like this launcher. So with this launcher you can see all your apps that you have installed and you can also add some widgets and some more apps over there and you have a nice background to boot at the top. Now this launcher is just very plain and simple uh, and it just is the base of a launcher and that's what I really do like. It. It's very minimalistic and it's very simple at the same time and that's what makes SF Launcher unique and different from all the other launchers out there. The next app in this video is Carbon for Twitter. Once I go into Carbon for Twitter you can see that Carbon for Twitter has many nice effects. As you can see right here. And it also does include some multimedia aspects which I really do like as well. And you can also see all the tweets. And overall it's very minimalistic and very simple. Now scrolling to the right, I can see all my mentions right there. And scrolling to the right again would show me my direct messages. And also if I go to settings, you can see all the features that I have on the side as well. Now Carbon for Twitter is a very simple Twitter app, although, although it's very sleek and much better than the free Twitter app uh, as well. And it's definitely a premium app. And that's Carbon for Twitter at number. Next app in this video is TuneIn Radio Pro. Now, once you go into TuneIn Radio Pro, TuneIn Radio uh, allows you to do is just listen to the radio. Now, you can listen to local radio or radio across the globe. So, say if I search for a certain artist. Say, for example, Lil Wayne. You can see I could just listen to a random radio station like so. Also, if I want to listen to some sports, so say, for example, ESPN. I can listen to ESPN Los Angeles. The 
then I can start listening to a live NBA basketball game. And there's also recordings at the side, so with this recording button, I could record the ri the live radio that I'm listening to, and then view the recordings that I've made right here. So overall, that's TuneIn Radio Pro. The next app in this video is Holo Launcher. Now, what Holo Launcher allows you to do is it gives you the Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean Launcher on your Android device. So you can see I can find all my apps here, like so, like so, and I can scroll and I have the Jelly Bean animations, and I can easily go through all the animations, and you can, and you can see I have the Nexus 4 o'clock as well, and all the apps have the Android 4.2 Jelly Bean skin as well. Now, Holo Launcher is a very simple launcher, uh, but the best part about Holo Launcher is that it allows you to uh, just have the pure jelly bean aspects on any Android device. Now, you also have folders, so as you can see, I can open up a folder right here, and I have all my Google apps, and I can open them. And that's what Holo Launcher allows you to do. The next app in this video is Umanu. What Umanu allows you to do is it allows you to listen to the news. So if you're the type of person that prefers to listen than reading the news, Umanu is a perfect app for you. So as you can see, I can listen to one like so. And it also does have many audiobooks mixed into the app as well, and that's why I really do like it. You can see it at the bottom as well, and you can keep scrolling, and you have a very sleek uh, UI, and that makes it much uh, better to use and more of an experience that you want to know more about. Now you also have some settings. Uh, so you have the daily reminders, uh, share likes and share listens, and send feedback. And another great thing about this app is that it's very fast, but not only is it fast, it, it also does include uh, many updates. Uh, and with each update, it continues uh, to pro and progressively get better. The next app in this video is Super Backup. Now, once you go into Super Backup, uh, you can see that you have your apps, your SMS, your contacts backup, uh, your call logs backup, calendars backup, and bookmarks backup. Now once you have Super Backup working to its full potential, what you can do is just backup certain aspects of your Android device. And once you backup certain aspects of your Android device, uh, so say for example I backup all of my apps. I can choose which individual one to back up, and all I have to do is just press grant, and it is backed up. Uh, so then I could easily restore from a backup once I download Super Backup again, since it saves the information to my device. Uh, and also at the top, you can see the storage used and the amount of storage uh, free at the bottom there, and the amount of storage free. Now, Super Backup is just a very simple app, but its main premise is just to back up certain aspects of your device, and it does come uh, very useful, especially uh, switching from many Android ROMs, uh, so going from ROM to ROM, I find it very useful because I can easily back up all my apps onto my device, just like so. The next app in this video is Gallery Drive Sync. Now what Gallery Drive Sync allows you to do is sync all your photos on your gallery to Google Drive uh, to free up more space on your device and give cloud storage to all your photos and videos with Google. And you can easily view them on Google Drive, uh, on the Android app, and on your computer as well. Uh, so it just gives a cloud aspect to your Android. And this is one of my favorite apps in this video. 
Now, once you go into Gallery Drive Sync, you can see uh, that you have your whole phone gallery in the app as well. But the option that you now have is to sync all. Uh, so say for example if I want to sync uh, all of these photos right here uh, straight to Google Drive although the first time when you do it it will ask you what email that you want to use and you can set it up. Uh, so what I can do right now is just sync all and then it will tell me to confirm the sync and the sync will say uh, the total size and the uh, total amount of unsynced photos And as you can see, it's now completed. So that's the main premise of Gallery Drive Sync. It just allows you to sync your photos to Google Drive. And it's very simple, although I find it very useful just to have all my photos and videos up in the cloud. At number 2, in the top 20 best Android apps video of all time is Z Player. Now once you go into Z Player, you can see that it has a Windows Phone style, and that's the main part that I really do like about it. Uh, now once you go into Z Player, you can see that you have music right here, and you can see uh, the artists that you can listen to. Uh, so say for example is listening to Big Sean right here, I can listen to it, and I can simply tap on it, and you can see the song is now playing just like so. And it also does include some very nice gestures, so I can swipe to the right. And now it will take me to the next song. I could swipe to the left to go back. And you can see I can also see all the songs in the specified album. And also if I exit out of Z Player and go to my notification uh, taskbar. You can see the song right there and it takes up most of the taskbar which I really do like and also does show the album cover. Uh, so that's what Z Player allows you to do. It's much different from the stock uh, music player and that's why I really do like having the ability to use it on my Android device and it is by far the best Android uh, music player app alternative to the stock uh, music player that you have on your Android device. At number one in the top 20 best Android apps of all time video is No Teeth. Now once you go into No Teeth, you will see that the main premise of No Teeth Pro, uh, what it allows you to do, basically a to-do list uh, on your notification taskbar and have notifications there that are self-made. Uh, so say for example, I can, uh, where it says title, I can make it uh, test. And for content, I can make it, this is a test. And I can make it an ongoing notification. And the notif is created. And the notif will be right there, just like so. And I can also make it a to-do list, so say for example, I, I can make it say, uh, get milk and eggs, uh, or something of that nature, I can do that uh, with notif. And that is why notif is number one at the top of the top 20 best Android apps of 2013. So thank you for watching this video on the top 20 best Android apps of 2013. Uh, please be sure to check out AndroidCritics.com as it is the best Android website. Also go ahead and uh, follow me on Twitter at Twitter.com slash AndroidCritics. Like my Facebook fan page at Facebook.com slash AndroidCritics. Also give this video a like as I know you watch. Email me at androidcritics at gmail.com and I'll be able to answer all your Android questions. And, and be sure to add me on Google Talk at androidcritics at gmail and you'll be able to instant message me all your Android questions as well. And thanks for watching.